Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're discussing the goodness of God. Last episode we concluded that only God is good by necessity. Today, does every created good also come from God? Before I delve into this question too deeply, I want to make it clear what I mean by asking it. Yes, God created everything that was made, especially good things. However, when we say that pencil is good, is the goodness of the pencil part of the pencil itself? Or is it merely the goodness of God, which we encounter through the pencil? This has been proposed by many people, especially in the modern age, the notion that each of us shows forth the goodness of God. God, after all, is goodness itself, and insofar as we share in that goodness, it's ultimately the goodness of God, right? Well, no. Remember, everything that exists has at least one type of goodness, existence. However, our existence isn't the existence of God, or else we would exist necessarily the way God does and never would have needed to be born. So, since our existence isn't the existence of God, it also follows that our goodness is not the goodness of God. While goodness itself may be the nature of God, when we call a specific thing good, what we're talking about is a quality that the thing itself has. For example, a good pencil is able to write. A good person is virtuous and just. However, the virtue and justice of a person is still always less than the virtue of God. What we can say is that virtue had by a person can be more or less good insofar as it's more or less like the virtue of God himself. In short, our goodness is known to be truly good in relation to absolute goodness himself, God. So we can conclude that God created all goodness, but not all of what we call goodness is divine goodness. Next time, we'll open up a brand new season on the scope of God's existence with the question of whether God is actually infinite by nature. See you then. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.